Niagara Falls Toy Hall coming up after this. So I took my bike to Niagara Falls. What happened was I woke up too late. Well, I woke up on time. I set my alarm clock. I didn't have much sleep. So then my alarm clock went off. And you know how when you turn, you, you're not sleeping. You turn your alarm clock off by itself. And then I just slept. And then I got a phone call from the bus because I go on this bus shopping tour. That's usually how I get there. And they called me and I went, oh, I can't make it. I looked at the time and oh no, no, and I was so upset because I was so stoked to go. Long story short, I ended up taking my bike to New York. If you want to hear more about this story, let me know in the comments below if you want to know about my trip and you want to see my whole toy hunt because I took some pictures and I could show you a slideshow of what went on on my toy hunt to Niagara Falls. Okay, and here is what I got. Now, because I was on my bicycle and I couldn't carry too much, there's a lot of things that I opened because I had already opened before I've already reviewed them and I just want them for other purposes. Okay, so this guy I got from Ollie's and he's kind of like the mini me. I do prefer him on his Superman body, but it's a really cool doll and I think it was $12. So that's an amazing price for him and he's kind of just like a backup but also that body is very useful that skin tone of him is super super duper useful that body can i have a lot of heads that can go on that body so there's i can have an articulated body or a body that doesn't have molded on pants or stuff like that and the clothes are all good and his face looks a lot like mine, so it, it's a win-win-win. It's a winning situation. Oh, let's let's get these out of the more things that I opened. So the reason I really wanted to go is because I heard Ollie's, where I got him at, had WWE dolls five dollars each. So this just made it worth it anyway for me to go. So there was only one of her picked her up that is a unique skin tone, and I picked up her that she has the same skin tone as Sasha. There's only one of her, unfortunately. And then Carmella is a very unique skin tone. And I already have a couple, actually those bodies are spoken for, but it is a not a common skin tone. It's kind of like the skin tone of this can. It's just this chocolate milky. Actually, it's different. It's even redder. It's very rare, but I've been finding more and more fashionistas are coming out with that skin tone. I got So I just got two of those. That's, that's four. And then I got lots of ones because this milky white skin is very necessar necessary and useful, and there's so many cool fashionistas that have this very pale, pale skin. Now, the only other one is Naomi, and that's the darkest skin tone you can get from the WWE collection. So they didn't have any of her. She's, for now, in the deluxe packs, where you get an extra fashion, but they did advertise that, and I have one pre-ordered from Amazon.com, of her in a basic outfit in the single basic box, which I'm sorry, I don't have an example of right here without a change of outfit. So if they start making her and then that becomes readily available, I don't know. I don't know if they're finished. I don't know if they're going to start them up again. It's very odd and some of them don't show up, but the good thing about that is that in Canada, sometimes like at off price stores, we tend to get things that were supposed to come out that didn't really show up so hopefully i will be finding the rest of those oh ollie's was an incredible store like i also got him this can the tuxedo was so nice and i do have ken i might have two kens in different tuxedos i'm not sure if i have a black one ten dollars is a bit much with my 
added tax. I had to pay tax twice because when I came over the border, they made me pay tax on top of my tax. I thought they only made you pay tax on the subtotal, but I realized that they made you pay tax on the tax. Nonetheless, he wouldn't be more than $15, and he's a really good looking Ken. The tuxedo, I mean, you can James Bond that up. That's really nice to have a nice thin tuxedo. The packaging is really unique too. So I think that's a good buy. These core elite figures. I got these from Ollie's too. Wow, I got so much at Ollie's. I held back on so much stuff. That's why you probably want to see my toy hunt because there's so much stuff that I wanted to get and I didn't. Now I have a few sets of these and I have a few of these on individual cards. I know I have him, but I don't have that guy, so I bought these. And then I thought, these are $2. I'm gonna get them all. Even if they are doubles, I have a friend that would love to have extras. I love the packaging. Maybe I wanna keep some in packaging. It's just, it's sweet, sweet packaging. I don't think I have the guy in the hood. I have this pack already, I know for sure, because I bought it just for him. I already had her in a single card. Some of these I'm getting triples of, and I know I have her. I'm not sure I have that guy. That guy is so creepy cool looking. $2 for these awesome figures. They're like G.I. Joe. They're like classic G.I. Joe. And the funny thing is, do you know what's better than G.I. Joe? Those Fortnite figures are so awesome. Let me, let's, let's look at that right now. Let's see if this is in the same scale as the Fortnite figures. I don't know if I can really tell. Just look at their feet. Yeah, I think they're... Let me get a good example with one with a regular sized figure. I think the figures are the same size. These are such good quality though. Well, I mean, I don't know because I haven't really... No, they are. I have opened up. I have had I had a few that I have like loose that I got at vintage stores. Just awesome. These are like GI Joe, but better. I love the Fortnite. I have a huge Fortnite collection. Basically, all of the main figures and then some of the deluxe sets to open. That's coming up real soon. You know what I can't get though is that you know how there's ones that come with umbrellas. There's just the regular figures, which are normally. They started out being $25 here in Canada, which was ridiculous. Eventually, all of the stores lowered them down to $16, and then I got some on sale, and now they're on sale everywhere, especially the first season are. I don't know why I'm talking about Fortnite. I'm just really excited to open up the, all of those figures. But they still have that pack, the one pack that's with each series that comes with an umbrella as an extra accessory. The pack is $35 in Canada. The single figure, like, I don't understand. And it hasn't gone, it hasn't been reduced. It's like, I always thought, is there a software? Is there, like, is there discs in there? Why is that? I have no idea why that one figure is so expensive. We didn't find any Fortnite. Well, we did. I saw lots and lots of Fortnite, actually. Okay, can we finish? Can we finish with all these? Yeah, this I also got at all these, and I have been watching this on Amazon so much because it has. Well, it's not exactly the WWE body. It's pretty much exactly. The one major difference is that see her hand. It's the Wonder Woman body. So the Wonder Woman body was the first. Uh, action doll that I got really super excited about because of the proportions and it was goodbye Barbie tiny feet hello like really cool awesome normal feet and these ones are totally in line with that and I still have to find this one but she is usually on Amazon for about $20 so that's great how much did I pay for her she was $15 but that's great because it's usually $40 for me to get her in Canada. So that was some major, major savings. One other thing from Ollie's, this Miffy set, which I always wanted, but I chose not to get this when it came out because I got the single packs with extra accessories and I decided to get her family pack with her mom and dad. And that's what, I hope I bought that mom and dad pack because I had the opportunity to buy it for $3.99. So a dollar each for these really adorable figures. Love Miffy. When I saw Miffy for the first time, going to Walmart in the States, 
We don't have them in Canada. I was like, I have to get that. Okay, so from doll, or what do they call that? Um, five below. These awesome muscle sharks. So vintage toys, Mattel. Most of the toys I have here are from Mattel, which is kind of weird. I really like Mattel. I love this packaging. Street Sharks, awesome retro 80s. Uh, I kind of dung, bung, dung, banged up the corners, unfortunately. I mean, I guess I could put a little glue there to stiffen it out. But I don't know if I want to open them. I haven't opened up my Masters of the Universe versions. Those are awesome. Uh, as you can see, She-Ra's here. How do I feel about She-Ra? These are tiny. Like, they're almost Mego size. They're so tiny. That was really surprising to me. I know that She-Ra is bigger, but She-Ra wasn't there. They actually had Glimmer and Bow there too, and I decided not to get them. I decided I didn't want them. I got these for a friend though, and I'm gonna open them and mail them to them, but I'm not interested in owning these for myself. I mean, I am, but may I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I, I really like them. I really like the show. They're made pretty well. Bo is so monster high. That tiny little waist, I don't know if I'm over that or not. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I don't know. That's up in the air. And then also at Target and Walmart, can I remember which was which? No, it's such a mix-up. Uh, most of these I got at Target, and I found one pack at Walmart after I found these three. It was very slim pickings, but I was lucky enough to find four of the latest Fashion Wave. And then something that I really, really wanted that I've never been able to get before because it's always a Target exclusive, and that is the holiday collection of outfits. So I have a whole set, and that is super exciting. That's going to be an awesome Christmas video. And we're going to put these on the WWE Girls Christmas. Made to move WWE Christmas. It's going to be awesome. And that's all the stuff that I got. And it's a lot of awesome stuff. And I'm really excited about it. And again, if you want to see all of the things that I didn't buy that I really wanted to get, but I only had so much room in my bicycle basket. All right, I hope you will like, comment, share, and subscribe as well. And we'll see you next time. I'm really thinking about moving to Niagara Falls because I don't really do anything in the city. I mean, people live in Toronto because they want to like do Toronto things. The only thing I do is go toy shopping. I don't even go see movies. I don't do, all I need is a grocery store and toy stores. And if I was that close to the border, I could just I could like bike over every day. There's only a dollar toll on the bridge. And just look at the stores. I don't have to buy anything. I would have to quit modeling though. That's why you have to be in the city. I forgot that I work sometimes.